Ang tutuking programa, may turingan niyang Rated PG. Kailangan ing patnube at gabi ding pengari para karing kayanakan ang manalbe. Welcome to the city of San Fernando, Pampanga. Welcome to the first episode of Travelon. Today, we will visit the city of San Fernando, a first-class city and capital of Pampanga, Philippines. Join me later as I meet some artists and see their creations and tour around Clark Museum in this grand art exhibit called Salangyan. But of course, this pilot episode will not be complete without all the fun you need to visit in this amazing city, right? Yes! <laughs> in just a while, I'll be taking you to a fun-filled adventure that makes your trip here even more exciting. Also, we are going back to the humble beginnings of the city, from its way to progress up to what it is at present. So save a seat for yourselves as we explore together the city of San Fernando. that our national hero, Jose Rizal, has taken his ride in an old train station I am visiting today. Welcome to your first ride with us. And because we'd like to make it extra special for you, I am taking you in one of the historical places in the culinary capital of the Philippines, Pampanga. the year when this city first became a town during the reign of King Fernando IV of Spain. Tomas Fernandez Argelias was the man behind this edifice. He is also one of the founding members of the Philippine Architects Society. The heart of the country's culinary capital is not only the humble abode of giant lanterns and Mariang Sinokwan, but this is also a home of historical landmarks that stood as silent witnesses to the ups and downs of Philippine history. The San Fernando Train Station a significant part of the Bagbag Mabalakat stretch of the Manila-Dagupan Railroad system that began serving people in February 23, 1892. And how do we find out that Dr. Rizal took a train ride here? In his book, Reminiscences and Travels, he shared a stopover in San Fernando to recruit new La Liga Filipino members on June 27 of the same year. Many of us know that Josephine Bracken is the last woman loved by Jose Rizal, and today we're so lucky to find this picture of her great granddaughter, Victoria Bracken. I have heard that she's now residing in Calamba, Laguna. had not only become part of Rizal's life. A 
another turning point when it played an important part of weaving our past was during the 1942 Death March. Thousands of our wounded men and American prisoners of war from Bataan were transported to Kapastor Lac through the boxcarts in this station. Are you ready for our next stopover? It was founded by the Agustinians in 1754 under the advocation of the Nuestra Señora de la Asunción. The town was then under the patronage of San Fernando III. The stone church is believed to have been built at the end of 18th century. But on May 5, 1899, under the orders of General Antonio Luna, both church and convent were burned by the Philippine Revolutionary Army. was restored by Kapampangan architect Fernando Hizon Ocampo in 1948. Throughout the centuries, the faith of Fernandinos has remained intact. They have withstood the tragedies that have befallen their city. The generation today now stands as sentinels and safekeepers of the rich cultural past. This is where exciting opportunities await you, where you can reach greater horizon for your career and work with Australian clients. Recreate a better culture for graphic designers, web developers, accountants, virtual assistants, online marketers. We care about your career because we are more than just a BPO company. At Anytime Fitness, our tagline is get to a healthier place. Our priority is to get you feeling healthy from the inside, and that's when your physical form comes next. At Anytime Fitness, everyone is welcome. At Anytime Fitness, we give you three promises. A convenient gym, a set of personable staff, and getting people of all fitness levels get to a healthier place. So we're inviting everyone to come check out our gym. We're located at the 3rd floor of New Point Mall, Angeles and 3rd floor Vista Mall, San Fernando, Campanga. Come and join the Purple Family! See you guys!
you guys are looking for a fun place here in San Fernando, Pampanga, this is the right place for you. Ano pang hinihintay nyo? Let's go inside! Fun place here is the perfect activity center for the whole family. It is a fun ranch which is perfect for your kids ages 12 and below. They can enjoy kiddie mountain climbing, ball pit diving, slides, and many more. I'm sure your kids will enjoy playing here and not only that, they can meet new friends and play with them. Next on the list, Laser Max. This is an exciting game for teenagers as they compete with the other team by laser tagging each other. The team with the highest points wins. So make sure to be careful and protect those blinking lights in your vest or else they will be the winners. Just a reminder that this is just a game, so no punching, no kicking, and no bullying. Just have fun and play with your friends. Now let's go to Jump Yard, the indoor trampoline park here in San Fernando, Pampanga. Here are just a few reminders before going inside the trampoline park. Before you enter where the trampolines are, you will be briefed with the rules inside the park, especially the do's and don'ts. So make sure to listen and follow all the rules for you to be safe while inside the premises. Next one, the warm-up. A video will be played with a coach that will lead you with your warm-up. Don't ignore the step. Again, this is for your own safety. So follow and do all the warm-up routines that will be shown. The warm-up will gently prepare the body for the activity by gradually increasing the heart rate and circulation. This will loosen the joints and increase blood flow to the muscles. Stretching the muscles prepares them for physical activity and prevents injuries. Starters, try beginning at the smaller trampolines. There are a lot of activities that you can do inside. Just be creative and have fun! Now if you are fully acquainted with the trampolines and you think you're ready where the big boys are, you can try the Olympic standard trampolines. You can jump as high as you can, so be careful and wash your head. So one of the crew here taught me a simple trick. Guys, please be careful when trying to copy this trick. And do not try this at home, obviously. Let me try it. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Failed. 
Let me try it again. Ha! <laughs> Close. Am I even near or what? Well, let's just have fun and jump around or maybe dive at the foam pit. Hey everyone, I'm now here with Miss Marge Talveron, the marketing assistant at the Farm Rules here. So, Miss Marge, can you tell us about this place and when did it start? So, Farm Rules here started no September 7, 2016. It has a different three brands, si Fan Ranch, Jump Ranch, and si Laser Max. So, we make it to the point that we can lang it for every member of the family to enjoy because each brand has different age brackets. Mm -hmm. Si Fan Ranch, mga batas, uh, 12 years old and below. Si Laser Max, 7 years old and above. Tapos si Jumper, yung malawak yung age bracket. Kasi as young as 3 years old, up to 30 years old and above, Pwede. pwedeng mag-enjoy sa Jump Yard. So yun pala yung uh, parang goal nyo dito, no? Na every family mag enjoy mm -hmm. like parents, pwede silang kumain, kumain, mag-kill lang. Or pwede rin naman sila sa Jump Yard. Yeah, oo. Yung mga kids nila, kung mga bata pa, pwede si Beats sa Farmer. Pwede rin, oo. And then oo. sa Jump Yard and Laser Max, yung mga medyo nakakatanda. Nakakatanda, yes. Ang ganda ng idea. So, Please invite everyone uh, dito sa Farm Rose here, Miss March. Ayun, so I'm inviting everyone to visit us here at uh, Fun Run, here sa San Fernando uh, kasi lahat nandito na para sa mga bata, sa matatanda. We also have good food in here. So hindi niyo na kailangan pumunta sa different places for everyone to enjoy. Everything is in here na. Nandito na lahat. Yes. Complete package na. Complete baga. package, yes. So, kailan ang uh, parang work hours ninyo po? Okay, so we're open every day. Okay. During uh, weekdays, we're open from 12 noon to 9 o'clock p.m. For Friday naman, 12 noon to 10 o'clock p.m. Tapos for weekdays, uh, for weekends and holidays, we are open uh, as early as 9 o'clock a.m. up to 10 o'clock p.m. Ah, para yung mga bata, yung mga kids, pag nag sila, mahal tayo, oh, oh, dito tayo. na lang, dito na lang kayo pumunta. <laughs> yes, oo, oh, oh, hindi na pupunta sa ibang libat lugar. Oh, oh. At, at least dito, ma ma-exercise ma pa yung mga bata, mm -hmm. makapaglaro pa, makapag-enjoy pa. Yes. So, ano pang hinihintay nyo guys? Punta na kayo dito sa Farm Rose here. Nandito ang Jump Yard, Laser Max, at Fun Run. Enjoy! This is where exciting opportunities await you, where you can reach greater horizon for your career and work with Australian clients. Recreate a better culture for graphic designers, web developers, accountants, virtual assistants, online marketers. We care about your career because we are more than just a BPO company. At Anytime Fitness, our tagline is get to a healthier place. Our priority is to get you feeling healthy from the inside, and that's when your physical form comes next. At Anytime Fitness, everyone is welcome. At Anytime Fitness, we give you three promises. A convenient gym, a set of personable staff, and getting people of all fitness levels get to a healthier place. So we're inviting everyone to come check out our gym. We're located at the 3rd floor of New Point Mall, Angeles and 3rd floor Vista Mall, San Fernando, Pampanga. Come and join the Purple Family! See you guys!
this is Travel Art. We are here at Clark Museum in Pampanga to witness Salangyan, a Kapampangan art exhibit. Salangyan is a Kapampangan word which means turn on. And this afternoon, we are going to experience more than 70 Kapampangan artists who will turn on the fire and ignite our hearts. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Artists on Fire. I'm very impressed with this explosion of artistic diversity and innovation this exhibit unveils. Each material brings about individualities. This offering of Kapampangan artists is but one from thousands of Filipino artists whose art generate a kaleidoscopic variety of expression. By examining a work of art, Clues about its meaning can be gleaned from within the work itself. After all, looking at and comprehending art is all about taking the time to view, identify, and think. I'm here with the Director of Culture and Arts Council of Angeles City, Mr. Wing Pingo. And we're going to ask him about today's activity. So, Sir Wing, please tell us how this Salangyan uh, event came to happen. Actually, uh, this uh, event coincides with the 25th anniversary of uh, CDC. Uh, I don't know what uh, day in particular, but uh, mm -hmm. this month of uh, April, then uh, Sir Andy Alves invited uh, us uh, mm -hmm. and the uh, other Kapampangan uh, artists to uh, hold an exhibit, which is the Salangian. Wow. So what do we expect uh, uh, this afternoon? What are we going to see? Who are we going to meet? Uh, of course, uh, since this is the anniversary of the C uh, CDC, uh, all the executives of CDC and uh, the locators are invited. And of course, uh, some of the VIPs from the city government and mm -hmm. other provinces of uh, Pampanga because it's not only limited to Angela City. The mm -hmm. uh, artists who are participating here are from the entire... Uh, Pro the Pampanga, Pampanga. Pampanga. Oh yes. And uh, what kind of art are we going to see here? Uh, there are a lot of arts here. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, paintings, sculpture, uh, installation arts, and uh, there's also a music performance from uh, the Sun Lag. They're uh, bamboo instrument performers. Later we can uh, witness that. We will witness that. Yeah. And there's a fashion show later this afternoon. Yeah. And uh, we would like to ask you how long this exhibit is going to run and can you invite everyone could to come and please see the attractions that we have here. Yes, uh, this exhibit will run for two months. No? Actually, this is the, this is the launching. Uh, tomorrow is the formal opening of the exhibit. This is the gala night only for uh, Clark uh, locators and uh, Clark VIPs. Okay, this is our kickoff uh, yeah. day. So thank you so much, Sir Wing, okay. and good luck to our uh, event today. Thank you. Art is one of the building blocks of civilization. No significant culture or society has ever flourished without it. Throughout history, artistic works have taken many forms and served many purposes. Also, they have constantly evolved in the process because we are a species still in transition. Don Wright with Jaws our artisan focus developed a unique technique to create sculptures using wire, resin, and paints. Using the wire's durability and malleability, the artist flexed and molded to produce and offer his little versions of Sanctuary of Beauty to the world. Every artist is unique, and this holds true to our featured artist for this episode, Don Wright the Jobs. Hello, Don. Yes, sir. Hello. Um, first of all, you're so famous. You're known for uh, to be the first kapampana to use wire in your art. Uh, how how yes. did you get to uh, to uh, do this uh, piece? Uh, I start, I started in I think I was in, I was seven years old. Bata, bata, bata. Mm -hmm. 
sa venue so magawa ko ng mga insects out of uh, alambre. Okay, oo. Tapos nang sa high school na inspire ako din sa sa New Era University. Yun may ano dun, may overpass. May gumagawa ng copper wire. Mm -hmm. Gumagawa ng uh, yung tanso-tanso, di ba? Yes, Nalala ko kasi nung bata rin ako, okay. yung mga palaro ko, ganun din eh, may iisang walang tarot. Ayun, uh, after school, kasi nasa dorm lang kami nun. Mm -hmm. Siyempre, bakating oras na. Ayun, bumili ako ng mga, mga Qatar wire. Tsaka, isa yun sa after dorm. Okay. Uh, sa you, start, oh, sa you started when you were seven, so dire-diretso mo talaga itong ginawa? Since then? Yung seven, Bali, nag-drawing na ako nun, tsaka nag-piping. Tapos nag-ship ako sa sculpture. Ay, nag-play ako. Kasama na rin yung... There's really a wide, oh, a wide area of talents talaga. Ang dami mong ginagawa. Um, you're, you have this experimental, contemporary. Isa-isa yun nga natin yung, when you say experimental art, what does it mean? Yun, out of curiosity, uh, gagamit ako ng mga materials. Uh, pwede gawin art, tapos kasama na yung experiment na mm -hmm. yung mixing up chemicals at saka materials. So, and then, did you have a proper training for this one? Did you go to a formal art school? Or paano to? Paano mo nabuo lahat ito? Bagi may iglang akong nagbasa ng elementary times ng high school, mm -hmm. mga libraries or, sa New Year, doon ako parati. Oh, oh. Mga art books yun. Yung talaga binubuksan mo. Saka mga mm -hmm. science books. Wow! Pero no formal training talaga? Hindi na ako nag-fine arts kasi parang naisip ko na pwede nang ma... ma Matutunan? Sa libro at saka mamasyal sa mga galleries. Wow. So what makes your art unique? Kasi we, we, we know marami, well, there are artists din na nag-mix media. Pero para sa'yo, ano yung, what, what's, what really stands out doon sa art na ginagawa mo? Yung siguro yung <coughs> consistency ko sa sa metal wire. Kasi matagal ko na siyang ginagawa. Sinisingit ko yun sa mga exhibit, pero sa mga paintings. Yan, bibigyan ko ng credit. Si Sir Hala Rodante yun. Ano din siya? Uh, metal sculpture din. Okay. Sculptor din siya. Sculptor din siya. Na ninong ko na. Mm -hmm. Yan, yung pakita mo lang na consistent ka ng uh, 10 years uh, ginagawa mo parang magpupunta siya sa mainstream. Okay. Mainstream, sa uh, circle, circle ng uh, oh. art community. And you're, you're young pa, pero I, I could, I, I saw it, no? I've read your uh, resume and, and all of the things that you competed. Ang dami mong sinasalihan ng competitions. Tama? Oo. Oh, mm -hmm. Lala ng binata pa, tsaka active pa rin. Yung forte na ako. Yan, Matanda na ba sa'yo? <laughs> pero when you were younger, you really oh. competed, no? Marami. But actually, I was still a student in the Somali student category. But that's it. I was fortunate that I had access to those competitions. Can you recall the most memorable competition that you joined? I think it was the first time I was in the Somali. Then I was also in the Somali in the Diwana City. Is it a national competition? Dito lang yes, sa... national competition is um, sponsored ng National Commission for Culture and in the Arts. Kaya nang wala na siya ngayon, yun, nandito sa bahay yung Benitez. And also you are, uh, you used to serve as one of the board of directors for the Art Association of the Philippines. Uh, yes, since 2006, um, 2012, uh, nakadalong term uh, so, so basically, ano yung pinaka-goal ng, ng organization? And how do you help artists as well? Mas bali, nagkakandak kami ng mga uh, art workshops mm -hmm. na for free. Tsaka umiikot din kami sa mga, sa mga galleries mm -hmm. nationwide. And tapos sumasuporta din kami sa mga emerging artists na gases kami ng mga technical workshops. I'm really, I'm 
really intrigued. Did you come from a family of artists or uh, yung mga lolo lola mo ba? Are they also well-known artists here in Pampanga or did it start with you? Yeah, tell us about your family. Oh, sige, tingnan naman naman ni. Pero may traces din kami ng mga artists pero wala kami ng formal training. Yung parang widow widow lang. Okay, kumagabasa. May ilip ng gitara, ng sudar, at parang kulinary. Kulinary niya, kasi nga, nasaan tayo, papangat tayo. Tapos yung gumawa ng mga sculpture sa kapampangat yung gano'n. May term kami na may ilip ng mag-ibento. Pero yun, pwede ka, nag-art ka rin. Oo, ano? Nag-art pa kaya may ginagawa ka rin. Nag-build ka rin na something unique. Well, tell, tell me about your creative process. So, paano ka nakakabuo ng isang piraso ng art? Uh, pa, paano mo yan iniisip up to the time na ini-execute mo? May special, may mga special ano ka ba? Parang natawag na ritual or uh, how do you go through it para paglabas niyan, wow, uh, if you are really satisfied with, with what, what you have uh, done? Ako oh, naman, depend, depende naman. Parang past time ko lang siya. Minsan, out of boredom, wala ko yung nagawa. Ito'y makagawa din ako. Kaya minsan ma-inspire din ako. The Sculptor His mighty hands with chisel and hammer Splitting the old tree asunder Etch, grave, incise, inscribe Effigies in stone and alabaster Metalwork, jeweled and enamel Mythological figures In pottery or wood Portraitures, arabesque decorations, masks of naturalistic depictions. These mighty hands of a sculptor, they bring life to a higher, new dimension. This is where exciting opportunities await you, where you can reach greater horizon for your career and work with Australian clients. Recreate a better culture for graphic designers, web developers, accountants, virtual assistants, online marketers. We care about your career because we are more than just a BPO company. At Anytime Fitness, our tagline is get to a healthier place. Our priority is to get you feeling healthy from the inside, and that's when your physical form comes next. At Anytime Fitness, everyone is welcome. At Anytime Fitness, we give you three promises. A convenient gym, a set of personable staff, and getting people of all fitness levels get to a healthier place. So we're inviting everyone to come check out our gym. We're located at the 3rd floor of New Point Mall, Angeles and 3rd floor Vista Mall, San Fernando, Pampanga. Come and join the Purple Family! See you guys!
Active here. Nandito tayo ngayon sa Water Splash Resort sa San Fernando, Pampanga. Ano pang hinihintay nyo? Pasok na! I know there's a lot of resorts that you can find in San Fernando, Pampanga. And Water Splash Resort is one of the best place that you can stay in when you're in San Fernando. It's in the middle of the city, which makes it accessible to everything. But when you're inside, you won't feel you're in the city. It has a clean and relaxing ambience, which makes it a perfect place to hold pool parties or just bringing your family for a nice swim. Water Splash Resort is open every day from 7 o'clock a.m. to 10 o'clock p.m. Our featured book of the week is Poetry by Experience by Johnny P. Lee. Johnny Lee is the author and publisher of eight other titles. And now he is taking us on another astounding journey of self-discovery in the magical world of poetry. Johnny Lee is a Colombo plant scholar, a Singaporean dental surgeon, novelist and poet, author and publisher who has written other books on childhood trauma and books and humor such as Laugh, Laugh, Laugh using another pen name, Money Larves. This book, Poetry by Experience, is one of my personal favorites of his. So check out the other books of Johnny P. Lee on Amazon. And that concludes our first trip together. You are probably itching to come here in the city of San Fernando, but before anything else, Here's a recap of what happened today. Truly an unforgettable and wonderful experience that we had together here in San Fernando, right? Yes, that's correct. <laughs> My favorite part is when I stayed in Water Splash Resort, mm -hmm. located on San Fernando, Pampanga, of course. And I also had fun playing around Jump Yard and Laser Max. I didn't play around Fun Runs because it was for kids. <laughs> a lot of adventures for you. Yes. Yeah, it was so fun. How about you, Bianca? How was your... Um, well, I have two favorite parts here. Uh, the first Ooh. one, yeah, uh, I get to see the picture of Victoria Bracken. She's the great grandchild of Josephine Bracken, and it's like getting a glimpse of how Josephine Bracken looks like uh, way, way back. And then the second one, getting to see the artworks of one of our featured artists, who is Don Reich Kudios. What about you, Ayo? Well, I'm kind of envious because of your adventure, but I have three things to say. Number one was that I was able to meet more than 70 artists That's wow. a lot. in just one place and got some interviews with them. Wow. Second was that I was able to get a watercolor portrait for free. Wow. <laughs> so that's mine to keep. And last but not the least, oh, I have forgotten. Can we measure. have one too? Can we have one? Well, I will talk to Mr. Lance <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. You know, for you to have your also your portrait. Hopefully. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was able to learn about sculpture and wow. its many varied forms. It's so beautiful, really. Yeah. I wish we were with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big but, time. but I guess it's now time for our photo hashtag contest. Yes. All you need to do is post some or take some pictures all around San Fernando, Pampanga and post it on your social media accounts like Facebook, Instagram, Instagram. or Twitter. And don't forget to include our official hashtag for today. Hashtag Hello San Fernando. And of course, Hashtag TravelRTV. Also, don't forget to like our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at TravelRTV, and subscribe on our YouTube channel. We would like to thank our sponsors for this episode, most especially Mr. Philip Dizon Torres, the creator of Fidayat Fashion, and we are donning his creations for this episode. Thank you! <laughs> That's it for our first episode! <laughs> And thank you for joining us on our first episode here in Travelar TV. I'm your host, Dad. I'm Bianca, but you can call me B for short. And I'm Ayo. This is Travelar! Travelar.